The next speaker is the Honorable Swart. Thank you, House Chair. With your permission, I will leave the camera off due to connection issues. Chair, the ACDP would like to pay tribute to all the farmers, commercial and emerging, along the whole agricultural sector and those all along the value chain who continue to provide food to South Africans. South Africa has the highest level of food security in sub sahara Africa and is a net exporter of food. And for this, we can be very grateful. And on Sir Anand's Bura, on his buyer, buyer, dankbar. However, the Russia-Ukraine war has raised concerns about escalating global food insecurity as these countries are major exporters of grains, oil seeds, fertilizers, and crude oil. Since the war started, the prices of these commodities have risen significantly, and South Africa, interlinked in the global commodities market, is exposed to these price increases. The grain and oil seed plantings in KwaZulu-Natal has also suffered due to the heavy recent rains leading to delays in harvesting. There are also pre-existing constraints to agricultural growth, which include inefficiencies in administration, infrastructure issues, security and geopolitics. Now, despite the fact that South Africa is a net exporter of food, there are roughly 6 million people in the country who do not have enough food to eat. What is even more alarming is that according to the latest data available to the National Department of Health, 199 children died from malnutrition in the first two months of this year, with the KwaZulu-Natal the hardest hit. This is probably the tip of the iceberg, with the Department of Health saying it was concerned that many more child deaths might occur away from its facilities, especially in rural districts. Now, it is a shame that government donates millions of rands to foreign countries when some 6 million people in our own country do not have enough food to eat and children are dying increasingly of malnutrition in the country. Surely, Honourable Minister, charity must begin at home and more resources should be directed to ensure our population is not starving. People go hungry. People go hungry not because food is expensive or scarce, but because, as agriculture economist Wandili Shishlobo states, quote, households simply do not have the income. Even if something costs two rand to a man, man without two rand, that is unaffordable. The ACDP agrees. But whose responsibility is it primarily to feed the hungry? Whilst government bears the lion's share of responsibility, it cannot do it alone. The private sector, civil society, and ordinary people need to assist at this critical time in our nation. Food donations to organizations that feed the hungry should be encouraged, and the ACDP is playing its role in this regard. Lastly, the ACDP wishes, in addition to thanking all the farmers for providing food security, to thank all those that are donating food, particularly following the devastating floods in KZN. You are the true heroes. Thank you, House Chair. Thank you, Honorable Swart.